In this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to repair your Wi-Fi dongle to your Wi-Fi router. You will need a small screwdriver or a cocktail stick. Um, and don't forget to take your Wi-Fi password and um, name to the inverter um, so we can do all of the process when we are next to the inverter. You're probably watching this video if you have recently changed your router, um, internet provider, or if we have sent you out a new Wi-Fi dongle. So first things first, what I want you to do is go into your phone settings themselves and I need you to forget your current Wi-Fi network. Okay, so in this example here, oh, we've got Infinity Renewables we're using. So I'm going to click on that and just at the top, click forget network. For Android users, you will need to potentially hover over the Wi-Fi name itself and look to forget that way. And once you have forgotten your network, we can then enter the Shine Phone app. So in this example here, I need to add a data logger because this is a new data logger. If you have changed your router or internet provider recently and you still have the current data logger plugged in, you will only need to edit the data logger. So you would be able to click on the data logger list and it will take you into your current list, but we currently don't have any data like I said. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new data logger. It's now telling me to scan barcode so we will zoom in and scan the barcode that is on the front of the dongle that's plugged into the bottom of the inverter so I then click yes now we're into the data logger configuration setting we're going to click hotspot mode and now this is the step where you're going to need to click the button that's either on the bottom of one of the dongles or if you look at the other dongle that you may have plugged in there'll be a key and I need a short press on the button and the light should turn blue. So now that we've pressed the button on the dongle and the light is blue, we can click next step. And then what we want to do here is we want to go to settings on the hotspot name, because what we need to do is connect our hotspot name to the same as the serial number above, um, which is the serial number of the dongle. So we want to click go to settings. We want to click on Wi-Fi and we want to look for the number that was the same as the dongle number on the Shine Phone page. In this case, it begins with the JPC. So I'm going to click on that and the password, nice and easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I'm going to click join. Give it a moment and make sure that it's connected successfully. Now that we've got the blue tick and we've got the Wi-Fi symbol at the top, we've successfully connected to the internet of the dongle. It may come up with no internet connection, that's because it's not a proper internet connection, it's just a way of your phone connecting to the device itself. So now that we're connected, we want to go back into our Shine Phone app and as you can see, the serial number and hotspot name are now both the same. We can click next step. So now that we've clicked the next step, what we want to do is enter your home Wi-Fi details. So you need to click the drop down, select your home Wi-Fi. In this case, it is the Infinity Renewables extender. So we'll click done on that. And then simply enter the password and we're going to configure immediately. This may take a few moments to connect, but give it time and hopefully we will get the green light. However, if it does fail, fear not, it can take a few times to reconnect. Simply go back to the start and go through the same process again. So now that you can see, we have successfully connected your data logger to your system. Now that your system has successfully connected to the server, give it about 10, 20 minutes and your Shine Phone app will be back online and you will be good to go.